My people, my people, I believe I have created a beast of a tactic in FM23. It's unusual, it's unique, it's crazy. The strikers are scoring many, many goals. Erlen Haaland managed to get himself 93 goals in 48 starts in all competitions. Lukaku, or Lukaka, as I like to call him, he managed to score 72 goals in 42 starts. And Feru Hashi, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Apologies if I butchered it. He plays for Celtic, by the way. He scored 71 goals in 48 starts in all competitions. I also did a mini test with Mbappe and PSG, but if I if I'm brutally honest with you, I stopped after about 10 games. So of course, this tactic is all about the strikers. It was also heavily influenced by Pep Guardiola. Of course it was, of course it was. In City's most recent game against Chelsea at the bridge, he used this formation and to me, it looks like an upside down 4-2-3-1. It's genius, it's genius. So in Football Manager, we decide to recreate that genius formation and well, shall we look at the results? Shall we see how we got on? Shall we see the beautiful football? Let's have a look, let's get stuck in. So we'll kick this video off by looking at the results. Manchester City, we played 38 in the Premier League. Of course, we played 38 games. There's 38 games to be played. Erling Haaland scored 71 goals with an average rating of 8.54. That is absolutely insane. The top three assists in the league were Kevin De Bruyne, Jack Grealish and Bernardo Silva. Top three, all Manchester City's players. Player of the match awards, who has the most? Of course, Erling Haaland. Clean sheets, oh, we don't see the Manchester City goalkeeper there, so that is something to, to look at. And we can look at the deeper stats, but of course, we're going to be looking at the stats from two other teams. We tested this at Celtic and we also tested this at Inter, I believe at Inter, we've actually got a cup final to play, Europa League. We got knocked out of the Champions League, we've got the Europa League final to play against Lazio, so we'll play that, we'll play that, just so we can see how the tactic plays out. But looking at the team overview, actually before we get stuck into all of that good stuff, I believe you might enjoy this video, so if you might believe so too, I don't believe that makes sense, but we'll go with it. Make sure you hit like on this video. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you click subscribe as well. In the comment section, leave a comment. Again, I'm going to stress this. I know it's annoying, but it really does help the growth of this channel and the growth of this video. If you're not following me on Twitch, make sure you go and follow me on Twitch as well. Twitch.tv forward slash RDF Tactics and on Twitter, RDF Tactics. That's where you can find me. That's why I've been posting updates of this tactic as well so let's get stuck back <clears throat> right into it Manchester City scored 127 goals we had the most shots for surprisingly we had the fewest shots against now this is actually disappointing to learn that we're not in a top three with clean sheets best pass completion we are sitting in fifth place for the most possession. We are in second place with 59%. Most tackles won not in the top eight. We do not care. For the most dribbles made, we're sitting in sixth place. Most clean sheets. Oh, just about make it in the top eight. And looking at the top goals conceded. Top goals conceded. Again, we'll move on. We'll just forget about that bit. Forget I just said that. And we conceded 31 goals, which is actually the joint best in the league. Erlen Haaland's got the most goals. Top three assists. Is all Man City players, but Phil Foden also makes the list. Kevin De Bruyne makes the list for the most shots as well. Kevin De Bruyne is also making the list for the Man of the Match awards. That guy's name again, Kevin De Bruyne. Um, best pass completion, nobody's in the top eight. Most tackles won, nobody's there. Most dribbles Mayfield folded. Most clean sheets, Edison just about making it. And for the few is conceded, Edison is there just behind Allison. Well, they're actually joint places. The Data Hub sometimes is a lovely place to visit with the XG. We were expected to score around 105.9 goals. That would have been amazing if we did, but we actually scored 127. We got our actual points are higher than the expected and also the actual position well is exactly spot on. But that's the results at Manchester City. Now we can quickly skim through the Celtic and the Inter Milan results as well. So of course, there's a reason why I'm using the top teams in their respective leagues and it's because this tactic is absolutely insane. If I tried it out, let's say it at Livingston, I mean, it wouldn't be St. Johnston getting relegated. It would have been Livingston and I don't think we would have been able to play all 38 games. We would have been sacked by Christmas. The tactic is for elite and it's there mainly to have fun and seeing your strikers score 
Let's I, I, I admit it. Seeing your striker score 60, 70 goals a season is going to be fun. And that's hopefully what I can bring to your saves fun. You don't necessarily have to download it. You can actually just take ideas and hopefully install your own type of fun in your tactic and in your saves as well. This video is all about fun, having fun. We've created a fun tactic, so I decided to share it. We can get serious if we want. We've got a cut final, so I'm sure me especially, I will be getting serious then. But I will strike it there with the most goals in this league. Celtic on top of the league. We've won 31 games out of the 38 being Celtic expected. Looking at the games that we did lose against Rangers, Hearts. It said we lost three. This, it's only showing us two. So let's actually go to the results and see what's popping. So yeah, we lost against Hearts away. We lost against Rangers away. And we also got, oh, well, we lost against Rangers uh, away twice. Disappointing. Similar theme here, we had the most goals, most shots for, not the fewest shots against actually, Rangers beats us just by two. Best pass completion, we come in second, average possession coming in second, surprisingly 68% of the ball when you see the tactic, it's crazy. Most clean sheets though, Celtic, and for the fewest conceded, Celtic, I mean, let's be honest, the Premier League is a different, different place to be in. So that's the Celtic results. Actually, let's look at the top goal scorers. I mean, our striker right there on 60 goals. He had the most shots for the most man of the match awards as well with 16, similar to Erlen Haaland. And yeah, these are some of the results. So now let's fly over to Inter and look at how Romelu Lukaku is doing. We've landed in Milan, first class that plane was, and you can see in a Milan, we are on top of the league. But we've got one more game to play, which is against Spaghetti Bolognese away at home for the very last game of the season. But we played 37 so far, we've won 30 so far, we've drawn four and we've lost three. Romelo Lukaku on 62 goals in, well, in the league, in Serie A. Lukaku has also scored Lukaku, Lukaku. He's also um, got an average rating of 8.31 and Denzel Dumfries is just behind him on 7.62. In all competitions, he's actually scored 72 goals. Erlen Haaland, I forgot to show you, but you will see in a second, he actually scored 93. For a harsh, he was on 70 odd something. So again, this tactic all about the strikers it's juicy so looking at the team over um view or over yeah the overview inter milan scored 101 goals we had the most shots for the fewest shots against so defensively we are doing better but when we get to the tactic bit interestingly tweaks are important and tweaks are important with every single tactic every save every team is unique and i'm trying to sh I'm trying to stress this in FM23. I mean, I might as well just make a video about it at one point, but it's really important to make tweaks according to your team. Just because it works at Manchester City doesn't mean it's gonna work the exact way at Celtic. And I find that out as well, going all the way to Serie A, different league, different teams, different players, they're going to play differently so in Milan there's little tweaks and I'm going to give you four or five tactics and they're all just slightly tweaked and for me I'm just giving you what I had to use in different situations different tests at Inter Milan for an example I had to use a wide center back it just worked better that way whereas other teams it was just okay using a ball playing defender but we'll talk about that when we get to the tactic bit so statistically as well here at Inter Milan everything is doing absolutely a-okay and we can also fly over to the data hub so similar to what was happening at City, what we were expected, we are performing better. So we were expected to score 90 goals, well 90.2 to be exact. And we actually scored 101, expected points 79 and we got 94 and well, the finish point or the finish position, sorry, bang on. But that there is the results. Now we're gonna fly over and look at the tactic, but also we're gonna be looking at some clips, some highlights, possibly play that uh, league final as well. League final, definitely not a league final, it's a cup final <laughs> um, with Inter Milan, the Europa League final. So let's look at the tactic, shall we? So this here is my baby. Football manager, I like to call it F325 because it technically is, but for the sake of our genius, we are going to be calling it the upside down four, two, three, one. So for the team instructions, the mentality, we are using balance. I didn't go anything above this. Anything above this is just ridiculous. So if you actually think about the midfield line, the attacking midfield line here and the defensive line or the defensive area here, how exactly are we going to get the ball to the attacking players if the attacking players, all of them are just stood all the way up high up the pitch. And that's what um, moving to positive and attacking can do. 
Obviously, in this system, it doesn't make sense. We ain't got fullbacks to connect the play between the wingers and the space between the DMs and the attacking midfield. Well, there is a bit of a gap, let's be honest. And I'm actually not going to be asking them to move too much forward into that attacking area for the sake of the defensive shape. So the balance mentality is suited perfectly, especially when it comes to some players starting position. Obviously, not all players. Obviously, not going to attacking means that everyone just suddenly runs forward. Now, the passing directness. We are on short the tempo is on higher creative freedom be more expressive work the ball into the box and low crosses as well moving into the transitional phase we are using regroup everybody get back into their position there is one reason why that is happening um in real life actually pep guardiola did defend in the 4-4-2 we did start out that way if i'm honest it was fairly successful not very successful fairly successful but I scrapped those defensive plans and I made my own ones and I actually can't remember what shape <laughs> I turned it into but the wingers especially the wingers they have to come back down and we're still trying to get a back four but not necessarily a 4-4-2 with the halfback then or the defensive midfielder then getting into that back three making it a back four when possession has been won no instruction but other tweaks there will be and goalkeeper in possession distribute the ball um distribute the ball to the fullbacks it does make sense we don't have any but it makes sense trust me i want my wider center backs to split wide and they just distribute the ball into that fullback area not necessarily to a fullback so now moving to out of possession we are using a high press again different teams different situations different matches this will change and defensive line is on higher that rarely changed actually trigger press set to standard you never you never want to go to much more often highest more often majority of the time standard actually less often sometimes did work and i actually smashed if we go back to the results so here we are, Manchester United, we smashed them 6-2 and that was using left, um, less often pressing intensity. We also lost 3-0 to Celtic, but never mind. We are also preventing the short goalkeeper distribution and that there is the tactic instructions for, well, that, I would say for the City team. Now, for the Inter team, we are using now counter because that worked better at Inter Milan and yeah, that was the difference when it comes to team instructions. Obviously, there's a tweak with the player roles at the back. And then we can go to in our in Europe. Now, in Europe, we didn't play necessarily well. And then possibly when it was too late, I found a maybe a possibly good tweak, which was this, a mid block and the pressing trigger on more often with get stuck in. And I believe the passing directness on standard. But if I load, you can see, well, there are a lot of hair, <laughs> 325, 325. There are loads of versions that I did try in here. Again, you can see the many, many tweaks. At PSG, the difference is, well, a mid block, funny enough, worked better than a high block or a high press at PSG. Now for the player roles at the back, we do have a sweeper keeper on the fen. And um, the back three, we have a wider center back and you can change this actually to a half back if you want more possession based football. In the middle, we've got a center back and the right hand side, we've got a ball playing defender. In defensive midfield, we've got a half back, of course, and a Segundo Volente. This could be a half back or a defensive midfielder on the fen. Now moving to the attacking line, we have a wing on the outside a wiggle on the outside again an attacking midfielder with an advanced playmaker this player oh sometimes he's just so beautiful and up top we have the advanced forward now for the player instructions um cross from the byline and mark specific position for the left winger i'm asked uh, for the left winger i'm asking him to mark the right midfielder now you're not actually necessarily asking him to mark a player you're marking the position not the player but the position so out of possession i want the left winger to be marking a right midfield position and the right midfielder will be marking the left midfield position of course and then cross from the byline because i like those pullbacks and also crossing for the byline for me i create better chances and for the advanced playmaker he's going to be roaming from his position stay wider the defensive midfielder also has to be marking the striker the ai striker no matter who he is if it's the central striker then just ma always mark that central striker if they're playing two up front then man mark the right striker sometimes or majority of the times this helps you defend in somewhat of a four at the back and that there 
wraps up the tactic. What we can do now is load up some matches and we can just watch some clips and see how the tactic sort of plays out. But we can also play that cup final at Inter Milan if you guys want to, but I will cut that video or cut that match into many, many bits for the sake of the video. I can look at the recording. I'm already at 40 minutes. My mouth does a lot, a lot of talking. I'm gonna cut a lot of this video. I'm see, look, see what I mean? The waffle. The waffling, I'm just waffling. Now, let's go and watch some highlights and then play a game. So looking at some results, I mainly saved them at Manchester City. We beat Man United 6-2, which we will watch in a bit. But I've actually named this one Nice Clips. So I want to know why I've named it Nice Clips. So let's have a look. So here's Onana on the ball. I believe this is the first goal. The pace is a bit slow. We will knock this up. If anybody wants my camera settings, it's sideline. I think it's the exact um, same as Zealand. Sometimes I actually like to knock it two times or one time. It depends. Actually, it depends on the stadium. And sometimes, yeah, I just like to knock the zoom out. But we'll leave the zoom in for now. And then we'll knock the speed up by one just so we can get through this. Here's Jack Grealish on the ball. He's running wide with it. He pulls it back into Haaland and wow, that was a very good goal. So we didn't uh, really see much of any sort of tactical plan there. But this goal here, if we rewind it all the way back, it's going to start from the deeper areas of our defenders. Here's Laporte, Rodri, Grealish dropping deep to collect the ball. I believe in this game he's playing as the attacking midfielder on support. So he's actually dropped deep to collect the ball there and link up. Here's Diaz, John Stones on the ball now. He's got a few options, but he's just going to run with it. Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva. What a lovely run by De Bruyne. And there's the cut back and there is Haaland for number two. Uh, that's Everton's goal. We absolutely do not care about that. And then here we go for this third goal for Manchester City. So um, Gundogan plays it out wide to Silva. He plays it back to John Stones. Diaz on the ball now. Rodri, Stones. He's going to bring it forward to uh, Bernardo Silva. Ilka Gundogan, lovely pass. Kevin De Bruyne, almost identical to the second goal. And that third goal was absolutely beautiful. Now for the very, very last goal. Again, we're going to pull it back because Football Manager likes to start the highlight when it's nearly at the end bit already. So there's Bernardo Silva. He's going to cut in deep and play it out wide to Phil Foden. Jack Grealish is free there and he's, he's found. There's Jack Grealish running inside the box. Tarkovsky tackles, but... Oh, lovely knockdown by Haaland. And that's a lovely goal. But again, I'm sorry, people. I'm going to go all the way back. So I like that switch of play from Bernardo Silva. Here's Diaz, Stones. Plays it out right, uh, right to Silva. And then you can see all of Everton's defenders here bunched up on that side. And it just literally leaves Foden out here. And this is why the two wingers is very, very important. The two wingers are holding a whip. I've got them on winger support. They're not actually moving so much from their position because... For this simple reason here, to hold the whip, we always need a player wide, always offering an option because, of course, we don't have any fullbacks. It's only one player wide on each flank. And that was a lovely, lovely switch play. So that was the Everton goals. Now we can go and watch those Man United goals. So this is the Man United game away from home. You can see our crazy ass formation down Hopefully my face is not in the way, but you can see the crazy ass formation down there at the bottom right. And we absolutely dominated this game. Absolutely. Even with the trigger press at this game was on less often. I didn't try that at all times. To be fair, football managers about feels and that's how I play. If you watch some of my streams, again, cheeky plug, twitch.tv forward slash RDF tactics. A lot of my tactical stuff is just based on what I feel at that present time. Sometimes if I want to go trigger less in this Man United game, I'm going to attempt it. Sometimes it's just an attempt. Now, it doesn't mean that this is a solid, solid enough tweet to then go to Liverpool and then go to Real Madrid and Barcelona and use that exact same tweet because sometimes it just doesn't work out like that. And actually, this almost went horribly wrong from the first minute because they scored from the first minute. But let's watch the City goals. So the first three goals that Manchester City scored in this game were actually set pieces. So the first one was a corner. It went all the way to the far post onto Haaland's head, as you can see. The second goal, literally identical. So we'll skip those goals. And the third one was a set piece, but it's not from an actual routine. It's just De Bruyne whipping it in, far post. Ake, Grealish uh, gets his shot saved and it magically falls to Erlen Haaland. And then here is our first open play goal so we're gonna go back a little bit to see some build-up play here's john stones on the ball plays it down the line to alvarez ilka gundawan rodri 
to Bernardo Silva, which is playing through Man United easily. Grealish gets his shot blocked and Silva knocks in the rebound. So here is another goal, thankfully, open play, starting from the goalkeeper as well. Here's Edison, here's Aki. Plays it out wide to Gomez, but he gets the pass intercepted. Rodri collects it. Haaland to Phillips. Phillips, what a pass to Cancelo. What a finish. What a finish. There's Martial, Casemiro. Oh, what a tackle by Palmer there. Almost two-footed. There's Gomez, plays a lovely ball into Haaland's path. We also beat Leicester 7-0, but we're not going to sit here and watch. Well, we can watch all the goals, but we're not going to sit there and watch it in slow motion. We are going to speed it up just so you guys can see some of the goals, some of the flavour, some of the flavour. Laporte, Grealish, over the top to Haaland. It's a simple one. That was a simple very first goal. The second one, I believe, was an own goal. Has Foden, Rodri, Foden. It's going very fast, but we needed to go very fast. I know I said very, but we're going to, again, just go with it. Just go with the flow. Grealish over the top to... That was a dirty, dirty volley. There's Bernardo Silva into Grealish, De Bruyne. De Bruyne making those runs as the advanced playmaker into those channels. It is beautiful. It seems like this one's all open play goals. Foden, what a finish. What a smashing goal. Here's John Stones running with the ball. You see how John Stones likes to progress with the ball as well. And that was a lovely finish. Hopefully this is open play. Yes, open play. All seven goals were from open play. Here's Foden, whips it. Bloody hell, Harlan. No need to take the net off and we've just got a crash dump. But what we are going to do now is go into that Inter Milan game, the cup final, and we are going to play that. And we can kind of see, again, how the tactic plays out. So let's go to that cup final. So here we are, and for this game, I'm actually contemplating on what tweet to go with. We've got Barella missing, which is actually a huge miss because Barella was, he was an absolute fire. So we do have Lazio in the final. Now, the reason why I'm contemplating whether to use the Europe tactic or not is because Lazio are obviously in our league. So I'm thinking, thinking what to do. And we also did flirt with the libero we are going to use a central defender on cover actually because they got immobile trying to get in behind and we can remove now we'll keep that on hmm i've got a feeling we're going to run out the defense today i've got a feeling we're going to progress with the ball and get more runners because we don't actually have people that run with the ball more often apart from the two wingers so we are going to try that and hopefully those tweaks help us win today's game because if it doesn't, that will be a calamity. So, Europa League final, let's go! Okay, the music just decided to stop by itself. Mm, weirdos. That was weird, but I do want to see the walkout, so... Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da I don't know why the music's gone and it's actually bugged me but let's go people let's go cup final time let's go okay the music's actually decided to start again once kickoff which is again really weird let's go boys let's go let's change this to extended as well two whistles this time so what i've done i've gone back to kickoff and i just want to show you guys how we somewhat defend in the back four as you can see here now the dm is literally right on top of immobile but you can also see dumfries here and the winger on the other side you can see they're not marking the wing back they're not marking anyone but the actual position now their normal position would see them higher up more actually closer to these guys which might not actually actually be a bad thing but i don't want them to have an attacking overload so you can see some of our defensive shape trying to take shape Oh, Hakan Chahanoglu with a free kick on the edge of the box. Please, come on. Why are you taking so long? Hakan, wake up, Hakan. Hakasan. All of that to the ball by Lukaku knocks it in. It's the rebound. And it's 1-0 to Inter Milan in the Europa League final. It's like the ball's a magnet to these strikers in this formation. I don't know why. You saw some of the goals that Harlan scored. It just feels like the ball just falls to them. And it's 1-0 already scintillating from in on we've actually had a good start here we've had a very very good start not seeing a lot of the ball here's bastoni brozovic over the 
Carrera. Ah, oh, we could have seen a better ball there, but here comes the break for Lazio. And, and not over my mic, but it, it, it's excitement. It's excitement seeing my defenders doing exactly. Have I broke my mic? We're still here, yeah? Mic check, one, two, one, two. It's me, it's you. So let's go back here. Yeah? Just look at the defensive midfielder and how hard he's worked to get back into my, my sort of back four. Not a back four, but my, my back four. So here's Pedro. Look at, look at him. He gets there and he intercepts the pass and then it puts in a back. Why is the music come again? Uh-oh. But they're going to score though. Oh, they've hit the post. There's me getting excited. There's me getting excited. What we can do, though, is actually drop. Uh, uh, this guy is absolute mayhem to deal with, man. This Immobile. Nazari. Can we get the ball? Dumfries. What was that touch? There we go. There we go, Dumfries. Look at... Oh. Oh, it doesn't matter. How can... Mkhitaryan, get online. Online, on side of the car. Come it's two. And that's his 74th of the season. It sounds right, doesn't it? Lukaku, Lukaka, 74 goals. And what a breakaway. And that is why the counter-attack works at Inter Milan. Again, it might be different at different teams. But here we are. It's 2-0 to Inter Milan. Woof. I mean, they almost scored a similar goal, right? They went on a break and Immobile hit the pole. There's Dumfries, though, with a throw-in. Mkhitaryan whips it in. Keeper! The music's back. I'm turning it off so you guys can't hear it. I'm sorry. Hakan Chahonogli on the edge of the box. I've got to use one cough again. The music's going again. Hakan! <laughs> it's free! It's free! It's free! It's Inter! It's free! Hakan, oh Hakan, we can't even see the goal. What type of replay is that? It doesn't matter. Come on, boys. It's 3 0 now. I must not get over excited because not once, not twice, actually, I say three, four times, I've gone up 3 0 only to concede like three in five, the last five minutes of the game as well. Not even just the random five minutes, the last five minutes of the game where I can't do anything about. Okay, look, they're starting to get into the game. So we've got to do something about that. They're starting to get into the game. We, what we can do, actually, is look at the match momentum. And, yeah, look at that second half. It was all us in the first half, all them second half. So what can we do to gain control? I'm going to do something silly. I'm actually going to go more. I'm going to push at them more to try and stop their momentum. Right? Let's try and stop the momentum and see what happens. Oh, they've made a good save. So look, there we are. There we are. We're starting to get control. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's not get too excited. I mean, I feel we've got decent enough control. We, we stopped their dominance, I feel. And we've completely shut them out in the second half. Completely shut them out in the second half. And that there was an easy dub for Inter Milan. Come on, boys. And that there, unfortunately, people, wraps up the video as well. This one has been enjoyable to record. Uh, I do normal tactics, 4 3 threes, 4 2 3 ones. This one was unusual. I know a lot of people won't use it because of the shape. Some people will call it game-breaking. I don't necessarily believe it's game-breaking because not every team can use it. Literally, only elite teams can. And again... If you want to use it, make sure you are an elite team. Hopefully, though, you have enjoyed this video. I have absolutely loved um, recording this one. This one, they haven't had a shot on target. We've only... Look at the defensive shape, and they haven't had a shot on target in a cup final. Talk to me about Masterclass. Go on. If you want to see more Masterclass just like this, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. And also, make sure you leave a comment under this video what you would like to see next. If there's a weird shape, I know a lot of people will try and do that. Uh, they're going to come with me with a WM. The WM formation. I've done that a couple times. If there's any crazy formation, Strikerless is next, actually. I've got a Strikerless one that got... Spoiler alert, third with Nottingham Forest. You didn't hear that from me. You did not hear that from me. I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe. God bless. Love you all.